Hello and welcome to the Air Access Technical Videos. In this video, we will explain in detail the Air Access Wireless Configuration screen. The Wireless Configuration screen is used to discover and add in locks, net panels, and expanders. As previously mentioned, the Air Access radios and gateways are auto enrolled into the Air Access software and do not require you to discover and add them in. To open the Wireless Configuration screen, click Configuration on the main menu and click Wireless Configuration. This menu selection will not be available when you log in as an end user. Another method to open the Wireless Configuration screen is to click Step 3 in the Configuration Wizard. The Wireless Configuration screen is divided into two sections. The top half of the screen is the Gateways and Expanders section. The bottom half of the screen is the locks and net panel section. First, on the top half of the screen, the gateway or gateways that were auto-enrolled should be displayed. Prior to discovering locks, you must select a gateway on the top of the screen. This is the gateway you will be assigning the lock to, after it's discovered and added in. Prior to discovering or adding in locks or net panels, it is recommended to reset the lock or net panel, even if it's a new product. Performing a reset ensures the lock is clear of all residual programming that may have been added when the lock was tested at the factory. First, for our demonstration, we are going to discover a lock. First, select the gateway on the top half of the screen. Next, on the bottom of the screen, click Discover Locks. A list of non-assigned locks or net panels will display. Refer to the lock ID on the lock ID card that was received with the lock or net panel. If the lock ID card is not available, the lock ID can also be found on a sticker mounted on the inside of the lock body. Next, find your lock in the list and click Add Selected Lock. Upon adding it in, the lock or net panel will display on the bottom half of the wireless configuration screen. One very important note, upon adding a lock or net panel into the wireless configuration screen, the lock or net panel will be added automatically to the configuration locks panel screen. To open the configuration locks panel screen, click configuration on the main menu and click locks panels. Next, in addition to the lock or net panel being added to the locks panel screen, a reader will be added automatically into the reader screen. For a net panel, two readers will be added automatically into the reader screen. To open the reader screen, click configuration on the main menu and then click readers. Very important, if you wish to make configuration changes to the lock or net panel reader settings, they must be made on the reader screen. To open reader screen, double click on reader list and make the configuration changes. Next, if you need to expand the range of a gateway, you can use a network expander. A gateway supports up to seven expanders. Next, for our demonstration, we will discover an extender. Very important. If expanders are used, group numbers must be used. The group number is set by two rotary dials in gateways and expanders. The group number on the gateway must be set to the same group number set on the expander. Please refer to the installation instructions received with the gateway and with the expander. Next, click on the expanders button on the top half of the screen and the expander screen will display. Click search. Upon clicking search, all expanders found with the matching group ID will display. When a lock is discovered, the lock will be assigned to the closest device which could be the gateway or expander. The Air Access software determines the best assignment by analyzing signal strengths. Next, review the fields for the gateway. Take note that the lock count and expander count displays. In our example, there is one lock and one expander assigned to the gateway. In addition, the group number for the gateways is 38, and that would match the group number of the assigned expander. Another important note is regarding firmware. The latest firmware will automatically be downloaded to locks and expanders. 
If the radio or gateway needs a firmware update, you must manually perform a firmware download on them. In addition to firmware, you must perform a data download to all locks and net panels added into the system. Again, do not forget to perform a data download to all locks and net panels. The wireless configuration screen contains many other buttons and fields. The descriptions and functionality of each button and each field can be found in the Air Access online help. In addition to this video and the Air Access Quick Start Guide, please reference the installation instructions included with each hardware device. The placement of the Air Access radio, gateways, locks, net panels, and expanders are extremely important. The installation instructions point out some very important tips. This concludes the Air Access technical video on the discovering and adding locks or net panels into the Air Access software.